Dear colleagues and friends, first, I wish on behalf of all the member states of the Caribbean community to commend the major corporations and business leaders who have enabled this event. The celebration of Mandela Day on July 18th is a day for all freedom-loving people the world over to cherish. As we honor this great leader who took South Africa from apartheid to freedom and democracy, it is important that we celebrate his legacy. I say to you that Nelson Mandela's legacy is much more than the triumph over apartheid. We must also look at the manner in which he triumphed over apartheid and its brutal political and economic system. In the end, he did it peacefully through the ballot box and did not resort to any form of violence. In the end, there was no bitterness, there was no revenge. And in the end, he sought economic empowerment for his people who were so long denied a seat at the table. I believe that this example of magnanimity and victory and Mandela's humility, his resilience and genuine desire to develop South Africa for all South Africans are the real gemstones of his legacy. As we celebrate Madiba, I pledge as chairman of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, to commit my efforts during my term to a strengthening of relations between the Caribbean community and Africa, the motherland. I intend to work on two tracks. I intend to strengthen the institutional relations between CARICOM and the African Union. We have made the first steps and these efforts will certainly intensify in the months and years to follow. On the second track, there is much we can do also at the bilateral level to unleash the economic and cultural dimensions of our relations. CARICOM will, within weeks, formally open a diplomatic mission in Nairobi, Kenya. I have spoken on several occasions to my dear friend, President Yehuru Kenyatta, and we are both delighted by this development. This mission will serve as CARICOM's platform in Africa with a mandate to develop beneficial relations with all countries on the African continent. Colleagues and friends, I cannot close without mentioning that today, Mandela Day, is not just a day of flowery speeches, as important as speeches are in honoring the great man. I commend the great initiatives being launched today, especially because they are so relevant to our contemporary world. The global campaign on vaccine confidence, the Caribbean-wide gender-based violence campaign, the Centers for Victims of Gender-Based Violence, and the food hampers for the food insecure in our communities. All these programs will have a real positive impact with ordinary people facing the challenges of everyday life during this most tumultuous time. Nelson Mandela engaged in transformative politics to lead a real revolution. Let us do no less. Let us transform the lives of people around us with our joint efforts between Africa and the Caribbean community, CARICOM. I pledge myself and the office that I hold to this cause, and I wish this event every success. I thank you.